Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and I'm here to tell you about my $65 mistake with the Odroid XU4Q. So let's get started. So to begin, this little board actually has been on the top of my list that I want to review because for $65, you actually get a really strong CPU, USB 3. I really like this, the specs, the RAM. It's got two gigs of RAM. It's got uh, Samsung uh, co uh, 8 core in here, two gigahertz, big little thing where it's two gigahertz on top and you know 1.5 on bottom. USB 3, this, this guy is really good. Everything you could basically ask for on a tiny little form board arm device type thing. It also supports Linux and Android. This guy has a gig Gigabit Ethernet, one USB 2 port, a barrel connector, which I really like, and then the HDMI 1.4. On the opposite side, you have USB 3 connectors. I'm telling you, that, that really does help when you do transfer speeds and stuff. And you also have pin connectors like you would on a normal Raspberry Pi. Now, I went for this Q version, which is the quiet version of XU4 versus the one with the fan because there was a lot of complaints that the fan is really loud. I really wanted to test this bad boy out because there's a lot of heat issues with this and from them eliminating the fan and putting in this beefy heat sink, I don't know if it's really gonna do its justice and that's something that I really wanted to test. Now, a lot of the boards that you see on my channel, I actually purchase with my own money. I don't go out and, I mean, if I can, it'll be great, but most of the time I go out and purchase these boards so I could do my own review. That way, I'm not being sucked into saying what I need to say because they gave me the board, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So long story short, what's going on with this board? Now I purchased this board around December, right around the holidays and stuff. And it's not something I jump on right away. As soon as I get it, I try to play around with it. But in this case, I didn't have the chance because of the holidays. So I set this aside for like a week or two before I was able to jump in to try. Now, the first thing I've noticed, this thing will not boot. So I tried different methods, different tactics on trying to see what will, what's wrong with it. Maybe my power source is wrong. Maybe I could directly connect something else into it. Maybe something with higher amperage. Nothing would boot it up. Then I started swapping around monitors because I read on a forum that a lot of other people, other people had the same headache where they couldn't boot the board. They were like, switch it from EMMC to SD card or swap out your monitors. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use this headless. Why would I need to swap out my monitors? Anyway, tried it. I have four monitors in my basement. I tried it with my 4K. I had my 15 inch. I had all this other stuff. The only monitor that would actually give it a red light that it kind of boots up is my 15 inch touchscreen monitor. As soon as I plugged that in, I was like, oh great, something's working. Nope, nothing, it's dead. Now that I set it aside, again, I'm busy. I decided to email the developers and I was like, okay, uh, I'm running into this issue. What do you suggest? They told me to go to the forums, which I already did. Then I was like, okay, I'm done with this. Now this becomes, this is the week of Christmas now. I, I decided to issue a return. I actually purchased this off Amazon and I went through the Amazon channel and wanted to go through returns. Then they were like, no, you have to talk to the, uh, the people who actually has the product. They'll issue a return. I went through them. They say, I have to pay. Not only I paid for shipping to get to my house, now I have to pay for more shipping, which I'm not going to disclose the amount because it's different places, but it's more than what I paid to get it here. I have to now pay it to ship it back to them so they could refund me the money. Honestly, now this is where my mistake came in. Out of sight, out of mind, I put this aside and I kind of forgot to return this guy, which I should have. But then again, I wouldn't have got full price. I would have actually lost money in returning this guy. So long story short, now I'm stuck with a dead on arrival unit, the OA unit, and it does nothing for me. I can't, I tried many times to get this working, but on paper, this guy is really good, but my review is inconclusive. I couldn't get this guy to work and eventually down the line because I got such a sour taste with this one, I might get another one to test but in the meantime, yeah, that's my mistake. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this board, which I will try to answer, uh, hit up in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my Nerd Cave, Hack till it hurts.